Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bates here. Today we're going to be doing some more maths and we're looking at written column addition. Come with me, you're going to like it. It's one of my favourites. So here we go, we're going to be doing a three digit and a three digit number today and we're going to be putting that into a column format. At the moment, it's at a, in a number sentence, uh, going from left to right, uh, and we can read it like a sentence. 286 add 174 equals. Yeah. Great way, it works, but when it comes to big numbers, that can be quite a difficult thing to write the answer to because it's quite a lot to do in our head. So we can write it in a column to help us understand the place value of each number. So, what's that going to look like? Well, let's have a little look. So, we've got 286 plus 174. Well, I'm going to write out the biggest number at the top. I'm going to put 286. And then I'm going to put this, another number underneath, 174. There we go. On the side, I'm going to put an addition because it's an add sum. And then I'm going to put my equals underneath. Now, here's one line. There's my second line. And can you see how that makes like an equal sign that goes right underneath? And your answer is going to go into that box. Now, this makes it a little bit more straightforward for us to be able to see our numbers and our place value. So we could start, start off by looking at the ones column. We've got six and four. And that's an easier one to add up, and we're going to go through that way. So six and four. Six and four is number bonds course it's going to give us the answer 10 now hang on a minute i can't just write 10 down here because it's going to look a little bit messy so i'm going to use my ones i'm going to put my zero here for my 10 my zero ones and i'm going to put my one just up here above the eight the reason i'm doing that is i'm carrying it over the value is 10 so that needs to go into the tens column it's one in the tens column so now I can look at my tens column and add those up. So I've got one, add eight, add seven. Hmm, right, let's see how I can do this one then. So eight, uh, add seven. Okay, well that's eight and seven, well, eight and two make 10, and two and five make seven. So that means that's gonna be 15, Ooh, plus the one there that's on the top, not forgetting, that's gonna give us the answer of 16. Again, I'm going to write the ones or the, 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 the smaller number here, the 16, 6 in the tens column, because it was 160, isn't it? 16, 160, I've added up the tens. 6 in there, and then I'm going to put the 1 just here above the 2, because that 1 is the value of 100 out of the 160 there. So that's moved over to that second column, to that last column, to the hundreds column, right on the end and now I'm going to add those numbers up one two and one well two add another two well that's pretty easy isn't it gives us the answer of four so our answer all together is 460 brilliant Okay, here we go. It's your turn. Now, all you're going to need is a piece of paper or a whiteboard. Right, so we've got 165 plus 459. Okay, now, column addition, always put the biggest number first. Big clue, biggest number first. Okay, you guys go on your own speed. I'm going to go through just to go over the top of everything. So, 459 plus one six five don't forget put that addition at the side that addition symbol remember it could have been a takeaway it needs to go there at the side it's good for you to remember equals two straight lines always use a ruler okay always use a ruler they go underneath right now comes the tricky bit the mass start with that ones column okay off you go i'm going to give you some time one make yeah that's going to give you the, so it's going to give the answer of 14 okay put my ones down there my tens where's it going to go of course it's going to go up the top there it's going to go above my five because it's a, a tens column okay it's 10 number one group of 10 now let's add up the tens 10 plus 50 plus 60 uh 10 60 okay have you got it you got it at home or at school you guys are great at this. Well done. I went, you're smashing this. Okay. 
Six and six is going to give you 120, yeah? So two in here. And then where's that 100 going to go? Up here. Of course it is. Of course it is. Because it's 120. But we're going to put that 100, that group of 100, into the hundred hundreds column. Now, last bit. Add up the hundreds column. 100, add, four, add 400, add 100. Basically, four, add one, add one. What's it going to give you? Well, four, add one, add one. Going to give you the answer of six. Yeah? Okay. Answer, six, two, four, six hundred and twenty-four. Did he get it? Brilliant. Give yourself a big marshmallow clap. <laughs> Hey, fantastic stuff. You did it. That was Compact Column Edition. Oh, yeah. Mr. Monkey, how did we get on? Yeah, I thought we did pretty good there. I thought we did pretty good. Hey, we'll see you here next time on Mr. Bates Crates. Don't forget, click that like and subscribe button so you get updated when we put a new lesson up. Oh, yes. Hey, we'll see you soon. All right, take care. Look after yourself. Bye.